Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am your Viprajesh again from Ramani Volkswagen Coimbatore. Today again, you may have already seen my detailed review of the Volkswagen Polo 1 liter TSI Highline Plus variant. Today I am here with the Volkswagen Vento 1 liter TSI Highline Plus variant, and I am going to see what are the differences between the TSI versions of the Highline Plus Polo and the Vento in terms of driving and dynamics. So let's go for a detailed test drive. Yes folks, right now I am inside the Volkswagen Vento TSI Highline Plus variant and I am going to start the car. Let's just check whether the NVH is exactly similar to the Polo or not. So initial impression is that it is exactly the same in terms of NVH as well when you compare with the Volkswagen Polo. Now let's start driving. The steering of course is, well, similar to the Volkswagen Polo as well so it is light at lower speeds and it gradually builds up the weight once you start increasing the speeds well of course this being the very same engine you still get the very same response despite being around 80 kilos uh, heavier than the Polo but still this is one good engine so there is no actual difference when you start driving uh, well, once you start uh, reaching the rev band of this engine, because this feels exactly the same as the Polo to drive. Only the thing for you to remember is that this car is a bit longer than the Polo, so you have to be extra cautious and you have to be aware of the extra few feet behind the car. And of course, <laughs> it is a beautiful engine. I just reached 4000 RPM. And this engine is a bliss to drive. It is beautiful. The response is amazing. And talking about the engine response, I think it's slightly smoother than the Polo and even the Rapid. Uh, befitting the luxury, the, the smoothness of this car, the image of this car. It's not as rapid or as uh, kicking in the face kind of a response as seen on the Polo. It is more smoother. It is slightly uh, more gradual, it's more linear than the Polo probably because of the weight so here's a speed bump and of course the ride quality is amazing it is softer and smoother than the Polos and even the Rapids and it definitely feels more luxurious The best thing about this engine is that you can get the demanded power at any point of time, at any point of the rev band, in any gear except for the 5th and 6th. Only if you drop below 1000 rpm, you get to hear the slight 3 cylinder clatter while also feeling the slight turbo lag. Simply put, the Volkswagen Vento TSI is easily one among the best driver's cars in its category. Talking about the design, the Volkswagen Vento has always been a very classy and understated looking sedan and still remains true to the Volkswagen design philosophy. With the recently introduced facelift, both the Polo and the Vento are quite similar in terms of front design. However, there are some features on the Volkswagen Vento which easily differentiates it from the top spec variant of the Polo. The Volkswagen Polo top spec variant may not have projector headlamps or LED DRLs. The Vento Highline Plus variant on the other hand offers all LED headlamps with auto leveling function while also offering LED DRLs. There is also a subtle chrome strip on the lower part of the front grille connecting the headlamps. Moving on towards the sides, the Volkswagen Vento gets the exact same 16-inch alloy wheels seen on the new Polo TSI. Even the gunmetal finish on the alloy wheels remains the same. Here's a quick look at the side profile of the new Volkswagen Vento TSI Highline Plus. And to me, the Vento still looks very classy and very very elegant despite being almost 9 years old in design. At the back, you get to see restyled tail lamps with LED lookalike design elements. The rear design of the Volkswagen Vento has also remained exactly the same, except for the new chrome strip and the diffuser-like design on the rear bumper. All the variants of the Volkswagen Vento now get the TSI badging as standard. So that was all about the exterior highlights of the new Volkswagen Vento TSI. Now let's get inside the car to check out its differences. Yes folks, I'm right now inside the new Volkswagen Vento TSI Highline Plus variant and this is how the interior looks like. First of all, you can see that 
there is not much of a change when it comes to the overall design and layout when you compare with the Volkswagen Polo and even the Skoda Rapid. Well, the Skoda Rapid had a different design steering wheel and this here is the typical Volkswagen signature flat bottom steering wheel on the Volkswagen Vento Highland Plus variant. Uh, so talking about the features, of course, this top spec variant gets a leather wrap steering wheel, which is absolutely great in terms of quality. However, I would have preferred a thicker uh, steering wheel because this kind of feels thin for my hand, which is quite large to say. Uh, the instrument cluster is exactly the same as seen on the Volkswagen Polo. So there is actually no difference. So let me just... Uh, Turn on the ignition. So let me just show you the key first. This here is the same flip key seen, uh, seen on the Volkswagen Polo as well. Uh, not even the top spec variants of the Polo and the Vento get push button start. So it is still a, a manual flip key. So this here is the instrument cluster. It looks exactly the same as the Volkswagen Polo as well. So everything is exactly the same, including the MID and all the features. Coming to the right side, you get to see the typical headlamp uh, switch. Of course, on this top spec variant, you do not get a scrolling function for the headlamp leveling. Instead, this uh, top spec variant gets auto leveling headlamps, which are LED for the low beam as well as the high beam. So this is an exclusive feature available only for the top spec variants. Uh, the steering wheel is of course tilt and telescopic adjustable right from the entry level variant itself. So that is a very, very nice feature. You also get other controls on the steering wheel, including audio controls on the left side. Uh, the Bluetooth telephony and uh, voice command buttons on the right side along with other couple buttons for the instrument cluster where you can actually change the main screen for the MID. So that is all. Coming to the center console, you get the very same kind of looking uh, touchscreen system which is around 7 inch in size. However, this Highland Plus variant gets a reverse parking camera. Let me just try slotting this car into reverse. So this here is the reverse gear and there is the reverse parking camera the quality is decent it is not exceptionally great not very uh, crisp but still it is definitely better than certain other cars in this category you can even adjust the contrast brightness and colors according to your preference so that is very very nice so let me just uh, turn that off just below that you get to see the typical automatic climate control console uh, this is exactly the same unit seen on the Skoda Rapid as well. So there is actually no difference in terms of uh, the operability and the cooling as well. So that is nice. The AC vents, including all the buttons and even the glove box, everything is exactly the same seen on the Volkswagen Polo as well. You get a cooling function in the glove box as well. So that is nice. However, the biggest difference when you compare with the Volkswagen Polo is the availability of dual tone interiors. This uh, top spec Highline Plus variant gets leather seats additionally. The Polo used to have only fabric seats even on the top spec Highline Plus variant with an all black theme for the interior. But the Vento has dual tone beige and black color combination with leather seats available on the top spec variant. So that is very, very nice. Talking about the leather quality, it is great. And you can even see pores for uh, ventilation function. But of course, this car does not have uh, ventilated seats. But still... These will make sure that you do not sweat uh, too much when you actually are traveling in this car. So that is nice. Even the armrest gets the very same high quality leather uh, for the front passengers, which is nice and very thoughtful. Of course, the armrest is quite similar in design and utility uh, when you compare with the Volkswagen Polo as well. You get a felt lined storage box inside and the armrest itself is quite very adjustable and retractable. So that is very good as well coming to the center console uh, you get of course the very same uh, standard storage bins and cup holders over here where you can actually store your sanitizer and uh, other things <laughs> so this here is a 12 volt charging socket which is similar to the volkswagen polo and of course the transmission lever the six-speed manual transmission is exactly the same seen on the polo as well so it is kind of slick but it is definitely not as slick as the five-speed manual transmission the pre BS6 the BS4 version of the Vento had so that is kind of okay coming to other features of course on the driver door you get all four power windows which also include auto up and down function along with anti pinch function for the rear windows as well however the Vento exclusively gets a feature where you can actually uh, roll up or roll down all the windows of your car by just long pressing the lock and unlock buttons now I have uh, rolled down the front windows of the Volkswagen Vento Highline Plus variant. Let me just uh, now try rolling up the windows using just the key. So here's the lock button. Voila. It works absolutely fine. However, you have to keep on holding the button 
so as to roll the windows completely so that is a very very helpful feature which is available only on the top spec variants of the Volkswagen Vento coming to the roof of course you get auto dimming electrochromic IRVM similar to the Volkswagen Polo and the Rapid uh, and the sun visors of course are of excellent quality they are very robust however only the uh, passenger side sun visor gets a vanity mirror so that is still fine of course the interior lights are yellow and you get separate interior cabin light for the rear seats unlike the Volkswagen Polo so that is very good as well talking about safety features all the variants of the Volkswagen Vento come as standard with dual airbags along with ABS, EBD, engine immobilizer, P-tensioner equipped front seat belts along with remote central locking however this being a top spec variant you additionally get side airbags for thorax for the front passengers alone as you can see the tag over there so that's all about the front part of the cabin of the Volkswagen Vento TSI Highline Plus variant let me just get to the back seat to check out what are the differences yes folks right now I'm in the back seat of the new 2020 Volkswagen Vento TSI Highline Plus top spec variant and this is how the dashboard looks like from the rear seat it may be a 10 year old design and layout but still it is very very classy and very functional and very easy to use as well because the ergonomics are well near perfect so talking about the rear seats of course being a sedan version of the Volkswagen Polo you get much more legroom much more foot room and even much more better comfort as well you get really good amount of under thigh support you also get rear AC vents which are of course quite similar to the rapid and the top spec Volkswagen Polo and it also includes a retractable cup holder so that is nice as well and additionally you get a center armrest however this armrest does not get any sort of cup holders uh, integrated into them but still the armrest itself is quite wide and very soft and very cushy so as to provide you maximum comfort the good part about the Volkswagen Vento and the Skoda Rapids rear seats is that you get rear adjustable headrests as standard from the entry level variant itself which is not the case with some of its rivals such as the Hyundai Verna where they actually cut out adjustable headrests for the rear seats for the entry level variants so that is all about the rear seats everything is very very comfortable one special feature on the top spec Highline Plus variant of the Volkswagen Vento is this lever with which you can help yourself to much more extensive limousine like legroom uh, if you don't have a passenger sitting ahead of you just beside the driver and you can of course enjoy and relax in the back seat with a cross-legged position so that is a very nice highlight feature available on, only on the top spec variant of the Volkswagen Vento now let's check out the boot of the Volkswagen Vento now I'm going to open the boot of the Volkswagen Vento and here we go this here is a 494 liter capacity boot of the Volkswagen Vento which has remained exactly the same as before however the Vento gets additional 30 liters capacity when you compare with the Skoda Rapid this is probably due to cleverer packaging and some changes to the back seat of course being a Volkswagen car you get a whole lot of thick carpeting all around the boot to emphasize on the quality feeling under the boot floor you get to see a 14 inch space saver spare wheel with a 175 section Goodyear tire all the essential tools and the jack are available with the tire itself however I think Volkswagen could have provided at least a 15 inch spare wheel to emphasize on the quality feel of the Volkswagen branding now let's have a look at the engine bay of this Volkswagen Vento Highline Plus yes folks opening the bonnet of the Volkswagen Vento TSI you get to see the very same 1 liter 3 cylinder turbocharged TSI petrol engine seen on the Skoda Rapid and the Volkswagen Polo despite producing the very same 110 PS of maximum power and a maximum torque of 175 Newton meters the Vento feels slightly smoother and better refined when you compare with the Skoda Rapid and the Volkswagen Polo throttle response is great while also offering great levels of refinement for the chauffeur driven people despite being a three cylinder engine now let's talk about the pricing and conclude this review That was a detailed test drive review of the new Volkswagen Vento 1 liter TSI Highline Plus variant. I think that despite being the same engine, this engine has been specifically tuned for the Volkswagen Vento to be luxurious and smooth. 
and it is one among the better performing sedans in this category when it comes to petrols. So do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the Volkswagen Vento TSI Highline Plus variant. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.